How do it's me time for a new project then um, I was contacted by um, a chap who owns a guitar I've done before uh, some of you might have seen it it's the spider one <clears throat> a while ago I did a, a strap type guitar with uh, a spider with a web a red web that went all over the um, front of the body and uh, this is the chap who owns that guitar he, he wants another one um, this time round though he wants uh, a guitar painted up with a comic book character uh, by the name of Zatanna um, I can't post a picture on here for uh, YouTube copyright reasons if you just do a Google image search for um, for Zatanna, uh, then you'll see what I'm on about. Uh, she's a female wizard type character, um, but this time uh, the customer wants me to come up with some original from here, which is nice. Um, get to flex those creative muscles for a change. So I thought I would detail the whole process, you know, how I go from the email from the client to um, to the finished product really so um, so here we go this is part one so uh, I got the email from the client uh, very handy at, uh, he sent a load of pictures with the email and said what he liked and didn't like about each picture that that really is helpful you know from uh, a creative point of view if somebody comes up for instance if he just turned around to me and said hi I want a guitar with Zatanna on it um, but I don't want you to copy anything I want it to be original then you know you've you've got to try and get into your clients head you know find out what they like what they don't like you know the the style of it the colors everything you've got to try and see what they see in their head you know without trying to offend anybody out there some people just don't have the the imagination to to tell you what they want you know it's if if you already do artwork for people and that lot then you probably know what I'm on about but but yeah Joe Public can sometimes have trouble getting their point across so Jesus what the hell just came from my post box <laughs> I have a letter, la 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 la. That's cool. Um, where was I? Yeah, you know, sometimes people have trouble getting their point across, you know, so you have to try and get in their head to figure out what they're after. But this, the client this time around, he, he sent me a load of pictures and told me what was wrong with them. For instance, you know, he's... He's not a fan of big boobs, for instance. Um, itchy nose of doom. Uh, um, you know, that sort of thing. He he gave me a load of sample images and told me what he liked and didn't like about each one of those pictures. So then I could get them in my mindset what he was after. Once I figured out in my head uh, the kind of thing he was after, um, I got to sketching. Um, just grabbed the old sketch pad, pencil, and, and just had at it. Uh, once I came up with a picture that I was semi happy with, uh, just a rough one, I, I emailed it to him uh, and he said he liked it. Uh, it's no point going all the way through and doing a full on piece of artwork straight away because if the client doesn't like it, then you've wasted all that time doing a, a cool bit of artwork for, for nothing really. I mean obviously you can keep hold of it and use it for promotion or hang on your wall or whatever but um, you know it's, it's wasted time and when you're doing this kind of thing as an income then time is money. You, you, you have to get the projects done quick but without compromising quality of course. So anyway Somewhere here, I have the picture I drew. <coughs> there we go. So yeah, once um, once he said he liked the sketch I did, um, I then did a a neater picture of it here. 
I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up because it's just pencil, but. There she is. She's also got a magic hat with uh, with playing cards and a dove and stuff flying out of it. Now, on paper, it it looks a bit odd. The layout of it, it's very spaced out. You know, she's there. The magic hat is right over here, and all that goes off over there. If I was doing it as a canvas or or you know, just a regular picture, then I would probably put the hat and this lot much closer to her. But you've got to remember, it's going on a guitar. Um, and, uh, you know, as you can see on the Jessica back there, that you know, you've got the pickups in the middle. They all get in the way, and the neck and everything. <coughs> and, of course, the knobs. You know, the volume and tone knobs, the bridge, you got a lot of things right in the middle of the guitar that are going to get in the way. So hence me laying it out like that. You know, she is going to be behind the bridge, the bridge of the guitar will be about here, the pickups will go up here, so it it's laid out for a guitar. So that's another thing you have to keep in mind, what's it going on? Yeah, so layout is important, especially when it comes to the guitars, because you've got pickups and all sorts in the way. Um, so that's another thing you have to bear in mind. So once I had that nice, neat sketch done, and, and the client signed off on it, he said he loves it, um, <clears throat> I like to come up with a digital mock-up of it, um, even if it's an original artwork. If somebody comes up to you and says you know I want an album cover on my guitar that's easy you just get a copy of the album cover uh, get photoshop slap it on top job done but if it's something original like this then um, I have to draw it from scratch but I like to do it in photoshop because then it kind of gives me a road map of what I'm doing you know then the colors are decided the layout is all decided and I can go to the client and say this is what you're going to get for your money um, <coughs> I do that a lot for um, the album covers and stuff as well. Uh, I find that clients are much more willing to part with their money and, and say yes to a job if they can see what the, the final result will be. Um, again, no offence to Joe Public, um, but you know people lack the... The, the vision to be able to see what it's going to look like. A lot of artists say that, you know, it, it's not cost effective doing mock-ups. Um, but I I say the opposite. Um, you know, people are much more likely to say yes to a job if they can see what the final result will look like. Uh, it also helps from a, another point of view that... Um, that way your client has a picture of what you are going to do you can say this is what I'm doing that's what you're getting for your money and as long as you make the end result look like your mock-up picture then there can be no um, comeback you know the client can't turn around and say that doesn't look right or that bit's wrong or whatever you know you can say this is what I showed you this is what I was going to do that's what it looks like you know it, it really does help. So Photoshop mock-ups are really worth doing. Uh, obviously don't spend days and days on them. I mean, with practice you can get good at Photoshop. I can do a, a Photoshop mock-up in you know an hour or two, quite happily. But, um, but back to this project, once I did the um, sketch, <clears throat> I then loaded up Photoshop and I got busy drawing a, a quick uh, mock-up. So let's take a quick look at that before my voice disappears completely. <laughs> There's devotion to your art, look. The sun is only just starting to come up. And, uh, and I've been at this for two hours already.
gonna make it And you know I'm gonna make it Give me the time, give me the time to my my own Oh, my throne of stone, stone, stone away From where you was yesterday Yesterday